Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a checkered art brush in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump into it. So I've created a new artboard on screen. It's 3000 pixels wide and 3000 pixels high. And the first thing we're going to do is select the rectangle tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a square. And we're going to give this square a black fill. So we're just going to double click one of the swatches from our swatches panel and make sure that we select global. And I'll explain why a little bit later on. You'll really see the benefit of why we do this. So we've got our black shape and we can go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and just hold shift and drag this down and you'll see it nicely snaps in place and if you wanted to go and turn your smart guides on that just helps line things up in illustrator so this one at the bottom we're going to double click on white and again make sure we select the global option and click ok and now i'm going to drag over both of these go to object and group and then go to edit copy edit paste in place and hold shift and drag these out and then I can still hold on shift, hover over the corner and just rotate this 180 degrees. So we should end up with something that looks like this. Now I'm going to drag over both of these. And again, you guessed it, go to object and group. Now this is the part where I'm going to zoom out quite a bit and just move this over to the left. So in addition to going to edit, copy and paste, we can also left click and drag an object in Illustrator and if you hold shift and alt it will create a copy so you can see by holding alt that second arrow appears indicating that we will create a copy and when I let go if I press command or control D on the keyboard it will repeat that last action in Illustrator so this is a good way of saving time copy and pasting copy and pasting because we can just hold this down and it will repeat uh, you know as far as we need it to so I think that's that's long enough so what I'm going to do now is zoom back in over here and again with the rectangle tool I'm just going to drag and create a shape set the color as black and go to object arrange and center back so it's behind everything else and I'm going to extend this along so I'm just dragging from that right point and this is going to surround our checkered squares. And again, you can see those smart guides really helpful in snapping it to the end. And we've created something like this. I probably needed a bigger artboard actually. So now I can drag over everything that I've created and go to object group and then open the brushes panel on the right. If you don't see this, go to window and down to brushes. And you'll see there's a few brushes in here, default brushes. I'm going to just drag this into this empty space and you'll see the plus icon here and if I let go I get the new brush menu we're going to select art brush and click OK and we get this window pop up now we can give this a name so let's go for checkered pattern and there's lots of different options on here we're going to focus specifically on the brush scale options so I'm going to leave it set at stretch to fit stroke length for now and you can adjust the direction so which way your brush goes we'll keep it going from left to right and you can flip it along various axes and you can adjust how the brushes overlap when they connect up but if we just click ok for now to create the brush you can see it adds this here albeit a very squashed version it adds it into the brush panel so let's just move that out the way now and then what we can do is if we draw a line with the pen tool, basically anything that you can apply a stroke to an illustrator, if we select that stroke and go to the brushes panel, we can select our brush and you can see it adds that brush in and we can extend this out and it will adjust the spacing. We can even add circles with the same stroke and scale this up if we need to. So anything with a stroke in Illustrator can have this brush effect applied. And let's just see what happens if we increase the weight. So I can now increase or decrease the weight of the stroke as much 
or as little as I need to, to get various effects. And we can also go back into the brushes panel, double click on the brush and get this dialog box back up. And we can adjust some scaling options here. So you can see in real time with the preview ticked at the bottom, you can see how it will affect your brushes. And you can choose flip, you can adjust the overlap point. And then once you're happy, just click OK again. And it will say, do you want to apply these changes to any existing strokes on your artboard? Or do you want to leave the ones that you've created as is with the previous settings? So we can click apply strokes and it will update those changes that we've just made on anything on our artboard. Now, the reason that we created these global swatches at the beginning is because now we can quite simply just go to the swatches panel, open one of the swatches, tick the preview box, and we can change all of this in real time. And it makes it significantly easier if we want to ever update these swatches and we've added them to a brush that we've already created, we can simply go back in and just change the swatches and it updates every instance of those colors within the Illustrator document. And there we go. That's how to create a checkered art brush in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.